I know I'm a bit late to make this video, but uh, I just wanted to talk about the books I've read in March. Mainly, I've read only four books in the last month. Mainly because one of these these books was actually a large book, but not only that, I was struggling with some personal stuff actually in the month of March. Uh, it's not really an excuse. I know I may. <laughs> I know it looks like I'm making a lot of excuses, but not really, you know, it's just I needed to take some kind of break on with books I've read in March. So to kick off the month, I started reading the Foundation series by Isaac Asimov. And I read the first book in the Foundation series. I'm liking it so far the only problem i have with foundation is mainly with the tech aspect of it mainly because the main resource is nuclear and i feel like you know ten thousand years in the future we'll have something else than nuclear so that's the only problem i have with foundation so mainly the jettisoning of the foundation book series essentially i hope that it's to a lesser degree the more we read into it because book number two at least for now in book number two i felt like you know the jettisoning was less present and i just hope that it's going to be less and less present in the other books afterwards then in march i read the darkness that comes before by r scott baker so part of the second apocalypse series so the first trilogy is the prince of nothing trilogy so this is book number one of both these things and it's uh, it's dark and it's at, at times it's hard to read it's not i wouldn't say that it's as violent and gripping as maybe the gap cycle was by the way i really need to do more videos about the gap cycle because I really enjoyed these books but back to the darkness that comes before it's not as it's darker than the gap cycle but what I want to say is that it's less violent less graphic actually but it's on par with the misogyny I think and I don't think that the author is misogynist, but I just think that the world in which the characters evolve is misogynistic. And I feel bad saying this, but at the same time, I feel like it's really close to reality because the people that are going to suffer the most are the elderly and the women and children, essentially. Then I started reading another series, so the... Blackwing series by Ed McDonald. I read the first book, actually listened on Audible. Blackwing, it's a really cool book. I've read somewhere that it's like Bloodborne, but in books. So if you need to know something about me is that I'm a huge From Software fan. So Dark Souls and Bloodborne, Elden Ring, all these games. I'm a huge fan of all these games. It's not set in the Victorian era as Bloodborne is, but kind of because it has these guns and weird stuff. It feels like Victorian England, but it's not really because it's mixed with other stuff. I really enjoyed the magical mechanic in this book even if it's not really explained but it just you know it makes kind of sense that magic is with electricity it's something that i really dig and i really enjoy from this book the characters are actually really great and then i tried to start another series but the fury by john farris if you've watched previous video from me i actually did a review by another book by john ferris so nightfall which i really enjoyed i really liked this book it's yeah it was one of my favorite book from last year but this time around the fury it's just so messy it's a mess 
I did not finish this book. Unfortunately, I watched the movie and I hoped that the movie would be better, but it's not really. It's still just a mess, actually. I don't know if I'll read the series, to be honest, mainly because the first book was so bad I didn't finish it. But on with book of the month. So book of the month is the book that I most struggled with, but in a good way. So the darkness that comes before. And actually I should mention this also. I have not mentioned that, but it's, I read on Reddit, you know, that this, you should read this if you liked Dark Soul. And I can't see why, because the author is just putting you in this world without explaining anything and just you just have to figure it out and I really enjoyed that and that's kind of why I struggled with this book mainly because nothing is explained like you don't know what the stuff looks like like let's say the shrank so this is a creature very present creature in that first book actually but it's never explained what they look like and I don't mind it you know nothing is explained I have to figure it out I'm liking this so far it's just that it's a long book it's I don't it's not weirdly written it's just that Mr. Baker has his style his prose and it's kind of hard to get used to at first but once you get used to it it's just really amazing how he's able to tell something without not many words and that being said you know that first book was like almost 600 pages long but still he's able to convey images really rapidly without writing too much words he's able to convey emotions and images quite rapidly i know everything that i'm saying right now sounds contradictory but that's just you know how i felt reading the book it's just at times it was hard to follow but at the same time kind of easy so yeah book of the month easily the best book i've read this month and i'm pretty sure that this series is going to be maybe the highlight of the year but we have strong contender i think for book of the year but i really think that this book series is going to be at least in the top 10 books that i've read this year actually but on with what's next so my tbr list for april so firstly foundation book number two so foundation and earth by isaac asimov then I'll be reading book number two in the Blackwing series, so Raven Cry, that I'm midway through, I think. I'm liking it so far. Really cool series at this moment. Then I want to read Childhood's End by Arthur C. Clarke. This is going to be my second book that I've read. Well, fifth book that I've read from Mr. Clarke. I've read the 2001 Space Odyssey series before so the four books series that uh, I've read like before starting this whole channel and this is what got me into sci-fi so can't wait to read this book then I want to read The House on the Borderland by William Hudson I think this is an author that inspired Lovecraft so I think it's going to be cosmic horror but I'm not sure and lastly I want to read The Warrior Prophet so book number two in the Prince of Nothing series by r scott baker i have high hopes for this book i can't wait to read it and talk to you guys about it that's going to be it for this monthly review thank you if you've made it this far in the video it really means a lot to me and i'll see you in the next one peace out